In the last part of the lecture, we will talk about output sensitive algorithms. We will once again talk about another algorithm to find a convex hull in 2D. And this algorithm is the Jarvis gift wrapping algorithm, or it's sometimes also called Jarvis March. The description of this algorithm is very simple. We start with a very left vertex. And now we know that all the other vertices lie to the right of it. So we can take a vertical ray directed downwards and we simply rotate it until we hit the next vertex, which is this one. And from that one, we continue. We take the ray that we got from the previous edge and we keep rotating it until we hit the next vertex. And now you probably already know why this is called a GIF wrapping algorithm. If you have some object and you want to wrap it in a GIF, that's basically what you do. You start from one side and you keep rotating and you keep rotating until you get to the beginning again. The question is, what is the runtime of this algorithm now? How much time do we need in every step? If we start from the beginning, we first have to find out what is the leftmost point. That is very easy. We can do this in order of n time. But then we have to find what is the next point in this radial order. And this is, yeah, again, very easy. Just compare all the points that we get here and we find the lowest angle. So we do this in order of n time. Then we go to the next one. How do we find the next vertex? Again, we have to compare all the angles that we get and find the smallest one. And we do this in order of n time. So this algorithm in total takes order of n squared time clearly, because we have at most order of n vertices on the convex hull, and in every step we add one and we need order of n time to compute it. But there is a better way to analyze the running time. If we have a point set where we only have three vertices on the outside and everything is in the middle, then after three steps we are already done. We will find the three edges on the convex hull, and for each time we need order of n time to find the next vertex, so we have done it in order of n times three, or order of n time. So if we have a point set where the convex hull is very small, this is actually a very fast algorithm. And this is what you call output sensitive algorithms where the running time does not only depend on the input, but also on the size of the output. In this case, we say the running time is order of n times h, where h is the number of vertices on the convex hull. And these two algorithms that you've now seen, for the longest time, they have been the optimal thing that you can do with convex hulls. Everybody said, yeah, it doesn't get better than that. You can do order of n log n time in general. You can prove that you cannot do better. But if you have a very small number of points on the convex hull, then you have this output sensitive algorithm. And that's it. Until at one point, Timothy Chan came and found another algorithm, which is called Chan's exponential search algorithm. And this only takes order of n log h time. So this is even smaller than Chavez March. And this is really the best thing you can do. Now there's no way to get this running time any lower, not for fixed n and not for h. The algorithm that he found is very elegant, but it's also quite complicated, especially for a first lecture on this topic. I can present you the very rough basic idea what he's doing. Roughly, the algorithm of Chan works as follows. It takes the input set and it divides it in many small sets. So he takes some value m and makes n over m sets out of it. Each of them has size m. So in this example, it is many sets of size 5. Now for each of these sets, he uses Graham scan, the first n log n algorithm that we had, to compute a convex hull. So it takes m log m time. And then he tries to combine the solutions that he got to the convex hull of the complete point set using the Chavez GIF wrapping. So he starts somewhere, shoots a vertical ray, and continues 
doing the gift wrapping, always finding the next vertex. And the interesting part is that every vertex he finds on the way must be a vertex on the convex hull of the smaller sets. And in a way, he can already know beforehand which vertex of the smaller set is the correct candidate. So he only has to look at n over m different candidates to find the next vertex. And then he stops trying to find the convex hull after n steps. So if he doesn't find a convex hull here of, that has only five vertices, then he stops. And to make sure that he definitely finds the convex hull in the end, he does a doubly exponential search on m. So he starts with 2 to the 2 to the 1, which is 4. First he partitions everything in n to the 4 sets of size 4 and tries to find a convex hull of size 4. If he cannot find one, he continues with 2 to the 2 to the 2, which is 16. So he divides the point set in smaller ones of size 16 and then tries to find a convex hull of the whole set of size 16. If that doesn't work, he continues with 2 to the 2 to the 3, which is already 256, and so on. So with only very few steps, he can find the convex hull. And if you analyze the running time, you will get to order of n log h. I will not go through the runtime analysis here. This is the part from Wikipedia where they analyze the running time. And it is really very elegant. And I like this analysis and the algorithm a lot. But it is not easy. So right now, maybe you don't understand everything. When we are done with the lecture and you have more experience, then I urge you go back, look at the algorithm again, and I'm sure that you will understand it. And then you will see how genius this algorithm is. That is for the first lecture. Thank you for listening and I hope you stay with me next week.